Well, I can do next Tuesday. Tuesday all right for you, Gitter? What for? To be abroad. Oh, I don't like abroad. I don't like the food and you can't trust the water. And the shamans always hog the deck chairs. No, Gitter. Is Tuesday all right for you to meet? Well, I'm babysitting on Tuesday for our Jason's youngest. I can manage Friday. Hurry up with the tea, love. I'm parched. You said you're a bit quite well. Just a bit more work on the screeching. Very useful screeching, I thought. And it's a good squint you've got there, too. Thank you. I've been practising. A squint's only good if you can get your own eyes to stir up your nostrils. Would anyone care for a scan? They've got bats on. Yes, I made their eyes out of currants. Now, how did that... Hello. Hel Hello? I am king, you know. Was, your majesty. That's better. What? I said was. It's called the past tense. You'll soon get used to it. Who are you, fellow? Oh, I have many names. Well, which one are you using at present? Death is as good as any. Death? I see. So I'm... Yes. <sighs> so it was Felmit. My father said I should never let him get behind me. <laughs> I suppose no one mentioned anything to you? Say again. No premonitions, strange dreams, mad old soothsayers shouting things at you in the street? About what? Dying? No, I suppose not. It would be too much to expect. They leave it all to me. Who do? Fate, destiny... All the rest of them. The fact is, you're due to become a ghost. Oh. Don't let it upset you. I'll try not to. Good man. Don't think I'll be up to all that business with the white sheets and the chains, though. <laughs> Do I have to walk around moaning and screaming? Do you really want to? No. Then I shouldn't bother if I were you. And now, I really must be going. I say, just hold on there. Tell you can't just leave me like this. I... I... Did I just walk through that? Something comes. Can you tell by the pricking of your thumbs? No, by the pricking of my ears. Off beats. No one had come up here this time of night. What's to be afraid of? Us. <laughs> it's all right. Give that to me. No. You are witches. Ten out of ten for observation. Does the skin of witches turn aside steel? Not that I'm aware. You could give it a try. With respect, sir, it's, it's not a good idea to... Be silent! Your peasant magic is for fools, mother of the night. I can strike you down where you stand. Then strike, man. If your heart tells you, strike as hard as you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Missed! Perhaps you weren't aware of what I was aiming at. Mother of the night, indeed. I didn't become a soldier for this. Not to go around killing people. Exactly right. If I was you, I'd become a sailor. <laughs> Wait! You can't leave me like this! I certainly can. You're undead, you see. It's not my responsibility. But... Don't worry. It won't be forever. Good. It will just seem like forever. Won't anyone be able to see me? Oh, yes. The psychically inclined... And cats, of course. I hate cats. Look, some people like to be ghosts. They can see how their descendants are getting on. My son! 
Is something the matter? G oh. up, Binky! And now, will someone tell me what all this is about? Perhaps they were bandits. No, they all wear the same badge. Anyone know what that means? It's the badge of King Varenz. Which king's he, then? He rules this country. Oh, that king. What's that, then? It's a baby. Oh, Gucci Goo. No! No! My son! Where, where is he? Revenge! I must find my son! I want revenge! I want my son! Gucci, Gucci, Goo. Gucci? It's a crown. It's got all spiky bits on it. Oh, dear. Hmm? I don't hold with looking at the future. But now I think the future's looking at me. And I don't like its expression at all. Trapped. Trapped! Rotten night. <laughs> they don't come much rottener. I couldn't help but notice. Uh, you can't leave, you see. You have to stay where you were killed. That's what haunting means. Take it from me, I know. You can see me? Oh, yes. Quite clearly, in fact. Ah, you're a ghost, too. Well spotted. There's a head under your arm. That gave me a clue. Oh, uh, does it bother you? I can put it back on if it bothers you. Say again. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Champot, King of Lanka. Varenz, likewise. You don't seem to recall seeing your picture in the long gallery. Oh, all that was after my time. How long have you been here, then? Oh, about a thousand years, man and ghost. Uh, a thousand years? Yes, I, I built this place, in fact. Just got it nicely decorated when my nephew cut my head off. But, uh, there, see, uh, can't tell you how much that upset me. A thousand? thousand years? Still, it's not that bad. It's better than being alive in many ways. There must be very strange ways, then. I like being alive. Oh, you'll be all right. You've got a strong morphogenic feel. What? What's that? Um, I was never very good with words. Always found it easier to hit people with something, but, but I gather it all boils down to how alive you were. Something called a animal vitality. The more you had, the more you stay yourself, as it were. I expect you were 100% alive when you were alive. Tried to keep myself busy. Ah, breakfast. <laughs> um, how do we go about getting breakfast? Oh, we don't. We're ghosts. But I, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're not, you know. <laughs> it's just your imagination. I told Benson to have a word with the royal physician, and he agreed that Verence died of natural causes. Indeed, my love. I told him to say that falling down a flight of stairs with a dagger in your back was an incurable disease. A disease caused by unwise opening of the mouth. Rather good, I thought. Yes, my dear. Though how you could have been so stupid as to let that fellow get away with the boy. That servant was far too loyal. I told you. Certainly, my dear. I hope you... What? I'll have some cut down and brought in directly, my cherished. Have some what cut down? Oh, the trees. What have trees got to do with it? Oh, there are such a lot of them. Don't change the subject. Sorry, my sweet. You are impossible. Oh. And then there's the business of the crown. Where is it? And stop rubbing your hands. Yes, my dear. 
sausages, bacon, eggs, smoked fish, black pudding. Oh, you just think you're hungry. I think I'm ravenous. <laughs> Ah, monarch of all I survey, and all I survey is trees. No blessed state of matrimony for them, selfish bastards. <clears throat> is everything uh, to your liking, Majesty? Who are you? Uh, the castle cook, Majesty. Uh, uh, is everything to your... Uh... No, it isn't. Far too much meat for my liking. Take this away and bring me oatmeal and a runny boiled egg. Runny boiled egg? Oh, I want some breakfast. Ah, <clears throat> is Mr. Brun the baker at home? Ooh. Oatmeal and a ruddy boiled egg. A little more respect might be in order. It's not proper food, is that? If you can't roast it and it doesn't have an apple in its mouth, I don't want to serve it. There's a knocking with it. Without what? Without the door, idiot. A knocking without a door? This isn't some kind of zen, is it? All right, all right, I'm coming. What's a zen? Oh, a subsect of the Turnwise Clatch philosophical system of something. An interesting aspect is the asking of apparently nonsensical questions in order to widen the doors of perception. <laughs> How's that again? Eh. Uh, in faith, Nuncle. Thou art more full of questions than a martleberry is full of mizzen sails. Well, okay. And another thing. I kept getting the feeling that someone was trying to take the tray out of my hands. Funny that. Who does not without? Without? Without what? If you're going to muck about, you can stay without all day. No. I must see the Duke this instant. Witches are abroad. It's meddling. That's what it is. And no good will come of it. You've meddled already. You killed that horrid man. I never did. I just encourage things to take their course. They didn't have no respect. Once people lose their respect, it means trouble. Is he busy? Was he then? <laughs> that other man brought him out here to save him. He wanted us to keep him safe. It's obvious. Oh, obvious. I'll grant you it's obvious. Trouble is, just because things are obvious doesn't mean they're true. Yes, but the point is... The point is that people are going to come looking. Serious people. Serious looking. Pull down the walls and burn off the thatch looking. And... How's the boy, then? And, Githa, I'm sure we'll all be a lot happier if you'd stop gurgling like that. You're not telling me how to look after a child and me with 15 of me own. I'm just saying that we ought to think about it. Well? First, we've got to take him away from here. A long way away, where no one knows who he is. And then there's this. Oh, that's easy. I mean, you just hide it under a stone or something. Much easier than babies. It ain't. The reason being, the country's full of babies and they all look the same, but I don't reckon there's many crowns. They have this way of being found. They kind of call out to people's minds. If you bunged it under a stone up here in a week's time, it'd get itself discovered by accident. You mark my words. It's true, that is. How many times have you flung a magic ring into the deepest depths of the ocean and then when you get home and have a nice bit of turbot for your tea, there it is? Never. And nor of you. Anyway, you might want it back. Kings set a lot of store by crowns. Really, Githa, sometimes you say the most... I'll just make some tea, shall I? Witches. Witches? Witches? Where I come from, we don't allow witches. And we don't propose to allow them here. You will furnish us with their addresses. Ad addresses, leadership? Where they live. I trust your tax gatherers know where to find them. Ah. Oh. I trust that they do pay taxes. Not exactly pay taxes, my lord. Go on, man. Well, um, it's, it's more that they, um, <clears throat> don't pay, you see. <laughs> we, we, we never felt, uh, that is, the, uh, the old king didn't think... Uh, well, they just don't. I see. Very well. You may go. 
That was how your family used to run a kingdom, was it? You had a positive duty to kill your cousin. It was clearly in the interests of the species. The weak don't deserve to survive. Right so, my passion. She done it up nice, hasn't she? Flowers and everything. What are them things on the walls? Sigils. Or some such. Fancy. Martin. When I was a girl, we had a lump of wax and a couple of pins, and we had to be content. We had to make our own enchantment in them days. Ah, oh, well, we've all passed a lot of water since then. <sighs> <laughs> What's that smell? Oh. Well, I'll just go and see if McGrath has any clean rags, shall I? Jolly well do this. That being a king for you, is it? I wonder why they all want a job. Sugar! Three spoons. You would have to be a born fool to be a king. Sorry. You can feel it, can you? I said, didn't I? Crowns call out. It's horrible. It's trying to get me to try it on. It does that, yes. But I shall be strong. Like you. So I should think. It's not as though it looks much like a crown. Just a thin little thing. Oh, you've seen a lot of them, I expect. You'd be an expert on them, naturally. Seen a fair few? They've got a lot more jewels on them and cloth bits in the middle. When I was being trained up by Goody Wemper... May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. She used to take me into Lanker whenever the strolling players were in town. She was very keen on the theatre. They've got more crowns than you can shake a stick at. Although, mind, Goody did say they're made of tin and paper and stuff. But they look more realer than this one. Don't you think that's strange? Things that try to look like things often do look more like things than things. Well-known fact. But I don't hold with encouraging it. What do they struggle about playing, then, in these crowns? Don't you know about the theatre? Oh, yes. It's one of them style of things, then, is it? Good people, are they? These theatre players? Oh, I think so. And they stroll around the country, you say? All over the place. There's a troop of them in Lankin now, I hear. Right. Go and tell Githa to wrap the baby up well. It's a long time since I heard a theatre played properly. <laughs> so die all foes of Lanka. He's killed him. I'm right up there in front of everyone. It's all right. He's not really dead. Are you calling me a liar, my girl? I saw it all. Look, Granny, it's not really real. What do you see? Or it is my brother I have killed. What's he on about now? He's saying how sorry he is the other man's dead. There's a lot of crowns, isn't there? Well, what are you going to kill him for, then? Well, it's a bit complicated. I reckon it's all pretending. Look, he's still breathing. Ah, and look at his boots, too. A real king would be ashamed of boots like those. Of course, there would appear to be many witches. It might be difficult to find the three that were on the moor. That doesn't matter. Of course not. Put matters in hand. Yes, my passion. Well, I don't know what you're staring at. Get on with it. Have on, Bug. Oh, who hath slain the prince, my lord? Oh, who... Who... Uh, hath slain the... The prince, my lord. My lord. There's a man over on the side there whispering to them. He's a prompter. He tells them what to say. Don't they know? I think they're forgetting. For some reason... What foul and nasty deed here lies before us? And by whom was this brave prince so untimely slain? Watch this bit. That's the king's daughter. It never is. It's a man in a straw wig, making his voice squeaky. Yes, but it's the theatre, see? All the women are played by men. Why? 
They don't allow no women on the stage. Madam, will you kindly remove your hat? No. What's going on now? They're talking about him who's dead. I think they're wondering who killed him. Are they indeed? He done it. We all see him. He done it with a dagger. Ha! <laughs> huh? Now we shall see. I don't suppose you've seen my body about, have you? <laughs> you made me drop it. I wonder how they managed to get all them kings and lords to come here and do this. I'd have thought they'd been too busy, ruling and similar. No, I still don't think you quite understand. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Ah! You! You're dead! <sighs> May I assist you, good ladies? I know you. You done the murder. Leastways, it looked like it. So glad. It is always a pleasure to meet a true connoisseur. Alwyn Vitola, at your service. <laughs> Manager of this band of vagabonds? Yes. Wow. I thought you was very good, too. The way you shouted all them words so graciously. I could tell you was a king. I hope we didn't upset things. Oh, my dear lady. Could I begin to tell you how gratifying it is for a mere mama to learn that his audience has seen beneath the shell of grease paint to the spirit below? I expect you could say anything, Mr. Vitola. <laughs> and now, to what do I owe this visit from three such charming ladies. We'd like to talk to you, Mr. Vitola. Somewhere private. Dear lady, but of a certain. Currently, I have lodgings in yonder esteemed watering hole. You mean in the pub? Showing your petticoats. I was thinking about how the hedgehog can never be what's name at all. Hmm. You see... There is this child, and he needs a home. Bring me a witch. In chains, if necessary. Sir? I say, here, body. Over here. Good body. <laughs> Go on, man. Look lively! Yes, sir. Oh, steady. Mind my eye. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you see, there is this child, and he needs a home. Why does he need a home? He hasn't got one. At least, not one where he would be welcome. This is no life for a child. Always moving, always a new town, and no room for schooling. They say that's very important these days. And you are by way of being his godmothers. You look really tatty compared to the others. <sighs> oh! Hello, my lovely. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I... We should be happy to take care of him. This should take care of nappies and such like. Whatever. A hundred times over, I should think. Why didn't you mention this before? If I had to buy you, you wouldn't be worth the price. There's something else here, isn't there? Something big behind all this. But it'd do us no good at all to know it. I have other things to see. Please excuse me. Uh, what's his name? Tom. John. Tom John. Oh, hello. It was you, wasn't it, as was that Duke? Fancy a quick quaff. <laughs> well? Where's Nanny Og? She's quaffing ale. Quaffing? It's like drinking, only you spill more. What about the crown? I found a box. 
it had all the crowns and things in. So I put it in, like you said. Did anyone see you? No. Everyone was too busy. But... Out with it, girl. A man came up and pinched my bum. Did he? And then what? Well, and... Oh, I don't know. We don't... Never happened before. Goody Wemper. May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace, yes. She didn't get out and about much, did she? It was her leg, you know. But she taught you all the midwifery and everything. Oh, yeah, that. I done lots. But, um... She never talked about what you might call the... The... Previous. Sorry? You know. Men. And such. What, 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 what about them? Well, uh, yeah, I, know. I think it might be a good idea if you have a quiet word with Nanny Og one of these days. Fairly soon. Dog can never, the hedgehog can never, the hedgehog can never be bothered at all. <laughs> Only not just now. Oh, I wish I could go hunting. <laughs> Used to live for it, you know. It's about time you learn how to get sound on this thing. Where's Nanny? She's lying out on the lawn. She felt a bit poorly. You know, if we are to be his godmothers, we ought to give him three gifts. It's traditional. What are you talking about, girl? Three good witches are supposed to give the baby three gifts. You know, like good looks, wisdom and happiness. That's how it used to be done in the old days. Oh, you mean gingerbread cottages and all that? Spinning wheels and pumpkins and pricking your fingers on a rose thorn and similar. I could never be having with all that. Go oh, well, if it makes you any happier. <laughs> well, what's it to be? Wealth? Beauty? Well, money isn't everything. And if he takes after his father, he'll be handsome enough. Perfect eyesight. Good singing voice. A wizard staff is four foot and a half. <laughs> and it's got a big knob on the end. <laughs> Not important. You've got to think headology, you see. Not muck about with all this wealth and beauty business. Watch her, Esme. What are you two up to then, eh? <laughs> How are you supposed to go about arresting a witch? I don't know. I don't think she'd like the idea, though. No, and I don't like the idea of her not liking the idea. Three gifts, eh? Oh, I haven't done one of them things since I was a gal. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh... We've got to create the right magical ambiance. What are we going to give him, then? We was just discussing it. I know what he'll want. <laughs> I think I give him <laughs> I don't see what use that would be. Wouldn't it be rather uncomfortable? Something a bit less physical is generally the style of things. We'll thank us for it when he grows up. <coughs> Beg pardon? I think that perhaps it would be a good idea if we all do it in our own way. You know, separately. It's been a long day and we're all rather tired. Good idea. Come, Nanny Og. It's been a long day and we're all rather tired. Mm, speak for yourself. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> ready for the mother and father of a headache tomorrow morning. Suggesting that I've drunk too much. Yes. Oh well, I suppose I could make a start. He will make friends easily. Something I've never been able to get the hang of. Oh, when I was a lass and a pretty one too, I met a young soldier boy who. 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 Oh, Rebo, how's it go? 
A good memory is what he ought to have. He'll always remember the words. Hmm. What, what name, Sarge? We, we, we spread out. Yeah, we, we spread out. That's what we do. Right, very good. You've got the uh, general idea. Now, let's spread out again, and this time we spread out separately. Let him be whoever he thinks he is. That's all anybody could hope for in this world. Right, uh, now, what we... Well, no one in. Oh, blast. That's a nasty cough you've got there. <laughs> yeah. You did right in coming to me. She did what? She gave me a cup of tea, sir. And what about your men? Oh, she gave them one too, sir. Sergeant. Sir. I'm not sure I made your orders clear. Sir? I mean, it is possible I may have confused you. I meant to say, bring me a witch in chains if necessary. But perhaps what I really said was go and have a cup of tea. Was this in fact the case? Uh, no, sir. I wonder why then you did not in fact do this thing I asked. Sir? I expect she said some magic words, did she? I imagine she offered you visions of unearthly delight. Did she show you dark fascinations of forbidden raptures, the like of which mortal men should not even think of, and demonic secrets that took you to the depths of man's desires? Uh, you were right, sir. What? Oh, perfectly, perfectly. Only you've gone all red. Don't change the subject, man. Admit it, she offered you hedonistic and licentious pleasures known only to those who dabbled in the carnal arts, did she? No, sir. She offered me a bun. Uh Yes, sir. It had currants in it. And what did your men do about this? They had a bun too, sir. But, well, all except Roger, who isn't allowed fruit, sir, on account of his trouble. He had a biscuit, sir. You may go, Sergeant. Sir. Teddy! Teddy, I said! Fool. Marry, sir. I am already extremely married. Advise me, my fool. If faith, nuncle. Nor am I thy nuncle, I feel sure I would have remembered. If you preface your next remark with nuncle, if faith or marry, it will go hard with you. How do you feel about pretty? You come from these parts, don't you? Marry, pre... Uh, yes, ma'am. So you would know all about the native beliefs, and so on. I suppose so, ma'am. Where do you sleep, my fool? In the stables, sir. From now on, you may sleep in the corridor outside my room. Gosh, thanks. Now, tell us all about the witches. Good evening. Well met by moonlight. Merry meet, a star shines on. What, Trap? What are you done to your hair, girl? Looks like a window box has fallen on your head. Yes, well, anyway, if we're going to start, we better light the candles. Well, we got this lovely new lamp our Tracy sent me, and I was going to poke up the fire a bit. Oh, you ain't going to draw on the floor again, neither. Took our dream days to clean up all those wuss names last time. Runes. Look, just one candle. Oh, all right. If it makes you feel any better. Just the one, mind. And a decent white one. Nothing fancy. What about this new king, then? Had some people executed in Lanker the other day for saying as how he killed King Varenz. Spreading malicious lies, he said. He said Varenz died of natural causes. 
Well, being assassinated is natural causes for a king. Had some houses burned down and badass, too. Because of taxes. Old King Vrentz used to do that. Terrible temper he had. He used to let people out first, though. Oh, yes. He could be very gracious like that. And every hog's watch night, a side of venison. Regular. Oh, yes. Very respectful to witches he was. And then there was that great airy thing of his. Ah, Mm, it's dry de seigneur. Mm, needed a lot of exercise. What are you talking about? Did he keep pets? I think we might have to keep an eye on this <laughs> new one, though. I think he might be a bit clever. And that's not a good thing in a king. And I don't think he knows how to show respect. A man came to see me last week and asked me if I wanted to pay any taxes. I, I told him no. Came to see me, too. But our Jason and our Wayne went out and told him we didn't want to join. Small man. Bald. Black cloak. Yes. yes. He was hanging about in my raspberry bushes. Only when I went out to see what he wanted, he ran away. Actually, I gave him tuppence. He said he was going to be tortured, you see, if he didn't get witches to pay their taxes. Well, well, Mum, you see, I explained about the need to employ a standing army, etc., and I mentioned how taxes help to maintain the king's peace, etc., Mum, etc. And? They said the king should maintain his own peace, Mum, and then they gave me a look. What sort of a look? It, it, it's sort of hard to describe. Try. Well, it, it, it wasn't nice. Not nice. No, sir. You're not going to make me go back, are you? No, no. Just call in on the torturer on your way out. See when he can fit you in. Y yes, sir. At once, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. How about the king's brides? Last year. Then we'll give them Mallow, the tyrant of Clatch. <clears throat> In blood I came and by blood rule. We did that the year before. <laughs> anyway, people are fed up with kings. They want a bit of a chuckle. They are not fed up with my kings. My dear boy, people come to the theatre to experience, to learn, to wonder. To laugh. Here, have a look at this one. See, look there, the comic grave diggers. And I found room for the star-crossed lovers too, and the unspack king. It's the cats and the roller skates. Oh. They're the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, laddie. It hardly fits. Put it back. Ah. Uh. It's the witches, isn't it? They're out there, aren't they? Marine, uncle! Portents, strange omens, short, sharp showers of shrimps, geese walking backwards. They're putting an influence on the land, aren't they? No, my lord. They never... Who asked you? Eh, uh, you did, my lord. Are you arguing with me? No, my lord. I thought so! You're in league with them, I suppose. My lord! You're all in league, you people! The whole pack of you! You're nothing but a pack of ringleaders! Do you all hear me? I am the king! <laughs> I am the king. Gods, I hate this kingdom. Is this a dagger I see before me? Uh, no, my lord. It's my handkerchief. You can sort of tell the difference if you look closely. It doesn't have as many sharp edges. <laughs> Good fool. Kneel beside me, fool. Are you loyal, fool? Are you trustworthy? I swore to follow me, Lord, until death. I didn't want to. She made me do it. I didn't want to. Leonel! Yes, my dear? What is the meaning of all this? Witches, I suspect. I really don't think... That is clearly apparent. You are an idiot. A fool, my lady. So, still they defy you. How should I fight magic? With words, my lord. What did you say? Um, 
In the guild, we learned that words can be more powerful even than magic. Clown! Words are just words. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. My lord, there are such words that can. Liar. Usurper. Murderer. <laughs> such words have no truth, but they can spread like fire underground. Words can fight even witches. What words? Crone. Evil eye. Stupid old woman. You are not entirely a fool, are you? You refer, of course, to rumor. Yes. Yes. It's the witches. We must tell the world about the witches. They're evil. Evil. Evil! There's something out there. Something forlorn. Something lost. think I had expected it to be small. Who are you? What do you want? You felt it too. I thought it was something small. Small as a vermin. Vermin? Furry creature. A more careful relative of the lemming. Only throws itself over small pebbles. Where's Githa? Do you think we should have brought a bottle? Seems to me as if there's a deal too many bottles in there already. Happy Hogs Lodge night, Mrs. Ms. Come, my grat. What oh, my old boiler? See you turned up then. <laughs> have a drink. Have two. Oh, watch your my grat. We're not staying. I can see you're busy. We just wondered whether you might have noticed anything tonight, a little while ago. Well, our Darren's eldest was sick, been at his dad's beer. Unless he was extremely ill, I doubt if it was what I was referring to. Oh. Oh, someone tried to dance on the table. <laughs> Fell right into our Reed's pumpkin dip. <laughs> we had a good laugh. <laughs> I was alluding to things of a different nature. Something wrong with your eye, Esme? Extremely worrying developments of a magical tendency are even now afoot. It might be a good idea if we could go somewhere more private to talk. It's out there somewhere, in the mountains and the high forests, and it is very big. I thought it was looking for someone. It put me in mind of a dog. You know, lost and puzzled. Yes, something like that. A very big dog. Worried. Searching. It's getting angry. Could be a troll. I left the best part of a pint in there, you know. I know what a troll's mind feels like, Githa. They say there's really big trolls up towards the hub. And ice giants. And big airy what's names that live above the snow line. But you don't mean anything like that, do you? No. Oh, we'd better have a look then. What are you gonna do? I always say you can't go wrong with a good invocation. I've done one for years. Oh, you can't. Not here. We need a cauldron and a magic sword and an octogram and spices and all sorts of stuff. You don't need none of that. You need technology. You just use whatever you've got. <clears throat> we conjure and abjure thee by means of this long and terrible wooden spoon. 
See how we scatter. <sighs> Rather old washing soda and extremely hard soap flakes in thy honor. Now you get that. And I invoke and bind thee with the balding scrubbing brush of art and the washboard of protection. <laughs> to invoke terps is Where were you when the vowels were being handed out? Behind the door? You are allowed three questions. Right. Is there something strange at large in the kingdom? You mean stranger than usual? Get on with it. My feet are freezing. And no lying. Is there something in the kingdom that wasn't there before? No. What the disc's going on? I know mucking about trying to wriggle out of it, otherwise I'll boil you. Oh, I protest at this treatment. Yes, well, we haven't got time to bandy legs with you all night. Word games may be all right for wizards. We've got other fish to fry. Or boil. Look, we're not supposed to volunteer information just like that. You know, there are rules. There's some old oil in the can on the shelf, Magrat. Look, if I simply tell you... Yes? Well, you won't let on, will you? Not a word. Lips are sealed. Oh, there's nothing new in the kingdom, but the land has woken up. What do you mean? Oh, it's unhappy. It wants a king that cares for it. You don't mean people, do you? No, I didn't think so. Saw the mind of a whole country. Can I go now? Oh, yes. Run along. <clears throat> I say, you wouldn't mind banishing me, would you? What? Only I'd feel better for being properly banished. Run along lacks that certain something. Oh, that gives you pleasure. Magrat? Yeah? Do the honours, will you? Certainly. Right, um... Be gone, foul fiend. Unto the blackest pit from whence ye came. <laughs> Apple. Apple. Three years old and still you haven't said a word. Those witches. I wonder... Well, you seem bright enough. You know what things are. You do what you're told. I oh, just wish you'd speak. A good memory is what he ought to have. He'll always remember the words. Huh. They say this fruit be like unto the world so sweet. <laughs> or like, say I, the heart of man. So red without and yet within unclued. He's we talking! The, worm, the, the boy! He's... The floor, well, he's, however he's quoting! Room, <laughs> you've, you've got to come! What ails you? Your son, Tom John, has declined his first word! <laughs> <laughs> Who's a clever boy, then? <laughs> Countries... They ain't even alive, for goodness sake. Of course, it'd be a mind made up of all the other little minds inside it. Plant minds, bird minds, bear minds. Even the great slow minds of the trees themselves. Well.
I don't know what this spell is, but I'll tell you this for nothing. When it wears off, some of you little beggars had better get moving. Look, it's no good you coming to me. He's the new lord. This is his kingdom. I can't go meddling. It's not right to go meddling. Yes, well, so he killed the old king. Well, that's nature's way, isn't it? You lot know all about this survival of the Hwasne. <laughs> Greetings from Duke Felmet. No! Oh! <laughs> anyway, the old king wasn't much of a friend to you, was he, all that hunting and such? Right, so it's selfish. Well, that's what being a witch is all about. Good day to you. What was it he said? Won't anyone be able to see me? Oh, yes, the psychically inclined. And cats, of course. Only one type of person would keep a cat like you. <laughs> a witch. And if a witch isn't psychically inclined, then I'm a puff of wind. If I could get a witch into the castle... Here, yeah, pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Come on, Bus. Um. <laughs> yes. Which would certainly come looking for a cat, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah, Bus, 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 Bus. Uh, there's plenty of mice and things in here, do you see? And uh, the rain blows in through the broken window, and there's uh, all these tapestries to sleep on. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. I suppose somewhere on the disc there must be someone more miserable than me. I didn't ask to be a fool. It wouldn't have mattered if I had. You will learn, my lad, in the years to come, that there is nothing more serious than jesting. The Fool's Guild will knock some uh, nonsense into you. Yes, Grandad. It runs in the family, you know. I won the honorary cap and bells of the Grand Prix des Idiot Blithering four years in a row, and your father was credited with seven official new jokes. Yes, Grandad. This the lad. Indeed, your absurdity. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? Marry, sire. Prithee, what do you get if you cross a duck and a robin? A Christmas quacker? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, your absurdity. You will never, never ever utter a joke that has not been approved by the Guild. Who are you to decide what is amusing? You have much to learn. The 383 <gasps> Guild-approved jokes in the Monster Book of Fun and the Glossary, which is much, much longer. Come, boy. We'll make a fool of you yet. Here's Woolly Fellwort and treacle worm seed, which is for inflammation of the ears. La 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 la! And five leaf false mandrake, sovereign against fluxes of the bladder. Ugh. 
Hello. Whoops! Don't. Get off. Oh, bugger. Grebo hasn't been home for two days. I can't find him anywhere. It's not like him. Of course it's like him. He's a fat, cunning, evil-smelling, multiple rapist. Anyway, cats can look after themselves. Countries can't. I have intelligence to report. Light the fire, Magrat. Mm? Oh, uh, yeah. Doesn't seem to be her normal self. No. Could be an improvement. Something on your mind, Esme? The kingdom is worried. Oh, yes. All this taxing and killing folk. Felmet hates the kingdom. I didn't mean the people. I meant the kingdom. It wants a better king. Is that it? No, that is, yes. Look, it doesn't have the same kind of likes and dislikes as people, right? Well, it wouldn't, would it? But it expects the king to care for it. That Felmet just wants the power. He hates the kingdom. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. You know we can't meddle. You saved that baby. That's not meddling. Have it your way, but maybe one day he'll return. Destiny, you know. And you said we should hide the crown. It'll all come back, you mark my words. Compliments of Duke Felmet! <laughs> it's in lieu of taxes! <laughs> Hurry up with that tea, my rat. You know the fool who lives up at the castle? Little man with runny eyes. Not that little. What's his name? Do you happen to know? He's just called Fool. No job for a man, that. Running around with bells on. His mother was a bell dam from over Black Glass Way. Bit of a beauty when she was younger. Oh, broke many a heart, she did. <laughs> Bit of a scandal there, I did hear. Why do you want to know, Magrat? Oh, w one of the girls in the village was asking me. It's a steady job. I'll give you that. <laughs> You're a pair of silly old women, and I'm going home. Well, you haven't been putting ideas in her head, have you? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Just like when you were a girl. Stuck up you were. At least I spent most of the time upright. You were the talk of the whole village. And you were too, called you the Ice Maiden. I wouldn't sully my lips with saying what they called you. Oh, yes. Well, let me tell you, my good woman. Don't you dare talk to me in that tone of voice. I'm not anyone's good woman. Right. I should have known better than to listen to Magrat. This coven business is ridiculous. Attracts entirely the wrong sort of people. I'm really glad we had this little talk. Cleared the air. Anyway, I really don't have time for all this. I have far more important things to do. And me. Good night, you. And you. Love spell. Ah! Oh, first I've got to find out your name. Hey, who'd have thought it? Gather ye ferns in a silk handkerchief at the first light of dawn. Morning, Mum. Morning, Arshon. What are you doing up here, Mum? If the Duke's... I've come for Grebo. Grebo? He ain't up here, Mum. Oh, yes, he is. Smell that. Oh, witch! And she's coming to get me! Oh! Somehow, when you read these spells, you always think of a bright sunny morning in spring. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that you, Miss Magrat? It's Mam. What's happened to her? She came to the castle and looked for Grebo, and, and the Duke's locked her up. Said she was coming to poison him. 
But I, I can't get down to the dungeons to see her because there's all new guards and they say she's been put in chains and that means something horrible's going to happen. Where are you going? Fetch her Jason and her Wayne and her Darren and her... Wait a moment. Oh, Miss Madrat, suppose they try and torture her. You know what she's like when she loses her temper. We'll never hear the last of it, Miss. Look. Just shut up a minute, will you, Sean? When our Jason finds out, he's going to give the Duke a real seeing to, miss. Don't tell him yet. There could be another way. I'll go and find Granny Weatherwax, shall I, miss? She'll know what to do. She's a witch. She'll... Whoops. Um, <coughs> I, I, I didn't mean that you... Well, uh, um... If you happen to see Granny Weatherwax, you can tell her that I will sort it all out. Now go away before I turn you into a frog. You look like one anyway! Quite comfortable, are we? Apart from these stocks, you mean? I am impervious to your foul blandishments. I scorn your devious wiles. You are to be tortured, I'll have you know. And then, you will be burned. Oh, goody. Oh, goody? Well, it's freezing down here. What's that big wardrobe thing with spikes? Aha! Now you realise, eh? That, my dear lady, is an Iron Maiden. It's the latest thing. Can I have a go in it? What? This gives you pleasure. But soon, you will laugh on the other side of your face. It's only got this side. We shall see. And you need not think any others of your people will come to your aid. We alone hold the keys to this dungeon. <laughs> You will be an example to all those who have been spreading malicious rumours about me. Do not protest your innocence! I hear the voices all the time. Lying. Lying. Enough. The faces. Come, Leonardo. The wicked lies. We will let her reflect upon her fate for a while. I wasn't there. And anyway, he fell. My porridge, all salty. You've been a good boy. Yes, um... Um, was there something else? It's not true what everyone's been saying about our mam, is it, hmm? She doesn't go around putting evil curses on folk. Well, your ma'am does upset people sometimes. Yes, but they've been saying terrible things about you too, and saving your presents, and... What things? Huh. Don't know what you say, um... What things? A lot, lot of things that aren't true. Mm. Like, Overends was a bad king, and you helped him on the throne, and... You caused that bad winter the other year, and old Norbert's cow didn't give no milk after you looked at it, and... Lot of lies, hmm? Right. Um, well... Uh... Who's old Norbert? All right. I can see you. Here. I know you. You're dead. I prefer the term passed over. You haven't seen a cat around here, have you? Um, yes. He's in a room upstairs, asleep. Oh, that's all right, then. I was beginning to worry. I fear, madam, <clears throat> that I may be responsible for your present predicament. I wished to attract a witch. I suppose you're no good at locks. I fear they would be beyond my feeble capabilities, as yet. Uh, but surely to a witch, all this is so much... Solid iron. You may be able to walk through it, but I can't. <sighs> yes, a good sharp bread knife. That's probably the best friend a girl, a woman, could have. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, uh, huh. <sighs> ah, oh, pliers. Nope. Pillywinks? That's a pretty name. What is it? Uh, it's a kind of thumbscrew. Look. No, it's not that. Smoldering boot of punishment? You're a bit too good with the names of these things. You sure you didn't use them when you were alive? Absolutely, Nanny. Boys that tell lies go to a bad place. Lady Felmit had most of them installed herself. It's, it's the truth. Right, then. It was pinchers. No, yeah, but pinchers is another name for pliers. There's a witch in the dungeons, and foul tortures, they say. Nonsense. I expect she's just gone to advise the king or something. I suggest you all return home. There has probably been a misunderstanding. Everyone knows that a witch cannot be held against her will. 
Um, I am a harmless old seller of apples. Pray let me pass, dearie. No one must enter the castle. Orders of the Duke. I know you, Champot Polly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Have an apple. So, that's witch's magic, is it? Maybe it frightens these country idiots, woman, but it doesn't frighten me. You must be one of these here newfangled mercenaries the Duke's brung in. I imagine it takes a lot to frighten a big strong lad like you. Old ladies like you, twisting people around. It shouldn't be stood for. Just as you like. Listen, I said... Oh, we shall begin with the showing of the implements. <laughs> Seen them, leastways. All the ones beginning with per, sir, it, uh, and were. Then let us see how long you can keep that light conversational tone. Light the brazier, Felmet. Light the brazier, fool. I don't like doing this, you know. Fine. I'll remember that you didn't like it. What's that? Nothing. Is this going to take long? Only I haven't had any breakfast yet. Hurry up, man! It doesn't seem to want a light. Infirm of purpose! Ow! And weak! Give me the box. Go outside and see that we are not disturbed. What? I said I've come to sell my lovely apples. Don't you listen. You're not a witch, are you? Of course not. Do I look like one? Right. Uh, pass, apple seller. Thank you. <laughs> well, well. Come to keep us company, have you, my pretty? I was looking for the dungeons. Just fancy. <laughs> I reckon we can help you out, then. <laughs> And now, we will commence. I should warn you, I am not, as I may appear, a simple apple seller. Well, fancy that. I am, in fact, a witch. Uh, fair enough. I've always wondered what it would be like to kiss a witch. Oh! Round here, they say you get turned into a frog if you kiss a witch. <laughs> I reckon, then. <laughs> you kissed one years ago. <laughs> now listen, sweetheart. You could be lucky and walk out again. If you're nice to us. <laughs> Do yourself a favour. Oh. Tire hands and gagger. Oh. They can't do no magic if they can't oh. speak or wave their hands about. You can take your hands off her! This is a witch we have here, so you can go and tinkle somewhere else. <laughs> I like a girl with spirit. No. I told you to let her go! <sighs> <laughs> Let go of him! You're wondering whether I really would cut your throat. I don't know either. Think of the fun we could have finding out. Oh! They've got her in the torture chamber and I don't like the sound of it. It's going too far. I couldn't get in and I came to look for someone. Well, you found me. The door's locked. There's all sorts of noises, but the door's locked. Well, it's a dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, but they're not supposed to lock from the inside. <laughs> they said you were a witch. Are you really? You don't look like a witch. You look very... Well, that is not like a, you know, crone at all, but... You're beautiful. You'd better stand back, Varenz. I'm not sure how this is going to work. How did you know me name? Oh... I, I, I expect I heard it somewhere. I shouldn't think so. I never use it. I mean, it's not a popular name with the Duke. It was me mum, you see. They like to name you after kings, I suppose, and... I think 
I gave it rather a lot. I reckon you did. Come on, we better see what she's been getting up to. I wouldn't have done it like that. I'd have tried the stones if it had been me. Not that I'm objecting, mm. mind you. I can't do stones. Well, no. Rocks is an acquired taste. You took your time? Let me out of this, will you? I'm getting cramp. <laughs> He's doing well, isn't he? Can they see him? Mm, shouldn't think so. <sighs> the dead shouldn't kill the living. Could be a dangerous what's-name. Precedent. We'd all be outnumbered for one thing. Guards! Fool! Fetch the guards! They're busy. We were just leaving anyway. Which one of you is in charge? <laughs> it would be better for you if you left this country. Abdicate or whatever. In favor of whom? A witch. Did you think a bit of simple conjuring would frighten us? We rule by right of conquest. If you defeat us by magic, magic will rule. And that which magic rules, magic destroys. It will destroy you too. You know that. Mm. <laughs> you could strike us down. And perhaps you could find one to replace us. But he would have to be a fool indeed. Because he'd know he ruled with your permission. And that would make him no king at all. Is this not true? Yes, it is true. But there is one who could defeat you. Ah, the boy. I have many years to prepare. Let him come when he is grown. He is not dead, I say, who lies beneath this stone. For whomsoever lives here in my heart, Live still. <gasps> By all the gods. I must have been on damn good form and about that. Hmm. Your people know all about magic. What do you make of it? He spent all his time around the stage, Master. It's only natural he should pick things up. Do you really believe that? Who knows where such things come from? And who knows what witches may achieve? He deserves better than this. We shouldn't be standing knee-deep in slush in the middle of these forsaken fields with nothing but liberated cabbage for tea. He deserves more, and he shall have it. By the gods, he shall have it. You, you could give him boils or something. Hemorrhoids are good. It won't stop him ruling. It just means you'll have to rule standing up. Oh, I ain't going to give him the pleasure of saying it. But he's got us beaten. Can... Can I see you again? Well... I don't know. How about tonight? Oh, no. I, I'm very busy tonight. Tomorrow night, then? I think I should be washing my hair. Oh. I could get Friday night free. We do a lot of work at night, you see. The afternoon, then? Well... About two o'clock, in the meadow by the pond, all right? Well... See you there, then. All right? <gasps> I've got to go. The meadow, OK? I'll wear something so you recognise me. All right. All right. Five copper pieces for a sausage in a bun? Oh, just a transport, fuel, overheads, etc. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, look, there's our Jason. And Wayne. Oh, and Darren, and Kev, and Trev. Oh, and Nev. <laughs> Thank you. I will remember their faces. Do you see my archers on the walls? I see them. Then <laughs> smile and wave so that the people may know that all is well. After all, have you not been to see me today on matters of state? Hmm. I'm not an unreasonable man, I hope. Perhaps if you persuade the people to become, I may be prevailed upon to moderate my rule somewhat. I make no promises, of course. 
Will you shut up, you daft old bism, and pull yourself together? There's our Rach, and our Charlene, and their babbies. <laughs> Coo-hoo-hoo-wee! People of Lanka, do not be afeared. I will protect you from the witches. They have agreed to leave you in peace. I'll now call upon the respected Granny Weatherwax to say a few words. You've gone a long way too far. <laughs> I have, haven't I? Go home. Come, get up. Will you stop waving at people? <laughs> Go then. Get back to your cauldrons, weird sisters. <laughs> Don't despair. You handled it very well, we thought. I ain't despairing. I'm thinking. Go away. Oh. Are you all right? They didn't do anything, did they? Never laid a finger on me. They're not your real royalty. Old King Grunwald, for one. He wouldn't have wasted time waving things around and menacing people. It would have been bang. Needles right under the fingernails from the word go and no messing. I, uh, I see you've got a follower. Sorry? The young fellow with the bells, faced like a spaniel, what's just been kicked. Oh, him. He just follows me around. Oh, can be difficult, can that? <laughs> Besides, it, he's so small, and he capers all over the place. Looked at him carefully, have you? Pardon? You haven't, have you? I thought not. He's a very clever man, that fool. He ought to have been one of those actor men. What do you mean? Next time, you have a look at him like a witch, not like a woman. Good bit of work with the door back there. Coming on well, you are. I hope you told him about Grebo. He said he'd let him out directly, Nanny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and just walked past with a cut on his head. She's very upset, isn't she? Ah, oh, well, there's the problem, see? The more you get used to magic, the more you don't want to use it. When you get along in the craft, you learn that the hardest magic is the sort you don't use at all. This isn't some kind of zen, is it? Dunno, never seen one. When we're in the dungeon, Granny said something about trying the rocks. I've never done that. Is it hard? Oh, not really. You just prod their memories. You know, of the old days, when they were hot and runny. Uh, oh, that reminds me. You can come out now. <laughs> Esme, there's someone to see you. Varence, King of Lanka. Do I have the honour? Of addressing Granny Weatherwax, Diane of Witches? I'm she. <laughs> the esteemed Nanny Og assisted me to leave the castle. I reasoned if I'm anchored to the stones of Lanka, then I can also go where the stones go. I'm afraid I indulged in a little trickery to arrange matters. Currently, I'm uh, haunting her apron. <laughs> well, you'd not be the first one, neither, that's for sure. Yes, me. I beg you, Granny Weatherwax, to restore my son to the throne. It is his destiny to be King of Lanka. Yes, well, destiny is tricky, you know. You will not help? It's meddling, you see. But, well, one day, when your lad is a bit older... Where is he now? We saw him safe out of the country. Very good family. What kind of people? Not commoners, I trust. Absolutely not. Not common at all. Very uncommon. In fact, um... They were thespians. Oh! Oh, uh, good. Were they? They didn't look it. Don't show your ignorance, Githa Og. Sorry about that, Your Majesty. Oh. She don't even know where Thespia is. Well, wherever it is, I hope they know how to school a man in the arts of war. I know, Felmit. In ten years, he'll be dug in here like a toad in a stone. Kingdom will become shoddy and mean. 
Remember, good sisters, the land and the king are one. One what? We've got to do something. Rules or no rules. It's very vexing. Yes, but what are you going to do? Reflect on things. Think about it. You don't know what to do, do you? Nonsense. Oh, there's a car coming, Granny. Oh. Oof. It was you, Nashley, from over Inkcap Way. You ran us down. You could have got out of the way. Get out of the way? We are witches. People, get out of our way. Help me get Nanny out of this bush, will you? That just about does it. We are all <sighs> witches. I'm not taking another day of this. Lock up a witch, Woody. We'd better step in here. I'll show him what a witch can do. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Weird oh. sisters indeed. Hold on to her a minute, Magra. Thank you. But I meant it. We'll meet tonight at the Standard's Tomb and see what must be done. Whatever happened to the rule about not meddling? As you progress in the craft, you'll learn there is another rule, one that Esme's obeyed all her life. What's that? When you break rules, break them good and hard. <laughs> It works. The people mutter against the witches. If it continues like this, fool, you shall have a knighthood. <clears throat> uh, Marine Uncle, if an I had a knighthood, knighthood, why, it would keep my ears warm in bed. <laughs> it's funny that... Uh... It seems that words are extremely powerful. Indeed, lady. Very interesting. I wonder, can your words change the past? More easily, I think, because the past is what people remember, and memories are but words. Who knows how a king behaved a thousand years ago? There is only recollection and stories, and plays, of course. I saw a play once, a bunch of funny fellows in tights. So let us assume that there are other matters, subject to controversy, matters of historical record that may have been... Clouded. I didn't do it, you know. He slipped and fell, that was it. Slipped and fell. I wasn't even there. He attacked me. It was self-defense, that's it. He slipped and fell on his own dagger in self-defense. Be quiet, husband. I know you didn't do it. I wasn't there with you, you may recall. It was I who didn't hand you the dagger. Light the fire, Magra. It's not really cold. It should be. By rights, we should have a storm. Remember Hurricane Zelda? Oh, and her amazing raining frogs. Oh, yes. Light the fire, my grat. There's a good girl. I dare say we'll all feel better after a nice cup of tea. With something in it. Alcohol is a deceiver and tarnishes the soul. Exactly. Now you never touch the stuff. We should keep a clear head, Guthrie. Just a drop in your tea isn't drinking. It's medicine. Let's curse him. We ain't going to curse him. We're going to replace him with his son. Proper succession. We've been through all that in about 18 years' time, perhaps, but... How about tomorrow night? A child on the throne? He wouldn't last 15 minutes. Not a child. A grown man. Remember Black Alistair Murridge? Esme, you ain't gonna try that, are you? Who was Black Alistair? She was before your time. Before mine, really. Lived over Scundway. She was a very powerful witch. If you listen to rumour... The biggest thing she ever did was to send the whole palace to sleep for a hundred years until... Oh, I can't remember. Was there some rose bushes involved? Or was it spinning wheels? I think some princess had to finger... No, there was a prince. Finger a prince? Very romantic, Black Alice was. She liked nothing better than girl meets frog. It was on account of romance that she sent the castle to sleep. She never sent the cattle to sleep. That's just an old wife's tale. She just stirred up time a little bit. Eighteen years. That means the lad'll be twenty-one at the finish. 
We just do the spell, he can manifest his destiny, and everything will be nice and neat. Could work out nice. Bit of peace and quiet for 18 years. If I recall the spell, after you say it, you have to fly around the castle before morning. I wasn't thinking about that. Felmet would still be king all that time. The kingdom would still be destroyed. No. What I was thinking of doing was moving the whole kingdom. The whole of Lanka? Yes. Eighteen years into the future? Yes. You'll never do it. Not on that. Not around the old kingdom. You just couldn't carry enough magic. I thought of that. You're going to help. I was saying that perhaps there are matters that should be properly recorded. Murray, that you were not there at the time. Not where? Anywhere. But everyone has to be somewhere. I mean, you were everywhere but at the top of the stairs. Which stairs? <laughs> Any stairs. I distinctly remember not seeing you. It was a very good play, the play that I saw. There were fights and no one really died. Some very good speeches, I thought. Can you write a play? A play that will be remembered long after rumour has died? No, lady. It is a special talent. But can you find someone who has it? There are such people, lady. Find one. Find the best. The truth will out. Like unto the stage of a theatre is the world, whereon all persons strut as players. No, 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 no. This is a mind dainty mess you've got me into, Stanley. No, that's not right either. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't happened to anyone. Stop dreaming, girl! Not before time. You don't reckon this one's got more than a few minutes' flight left. Come on, get a move on. Leave me a bit. I've got to get down. Shouldn't be difficult. I mean, get down safely. Oh! <sighs> Ooh! Ow! You! You! Did I hurt you? Well, I've got one or two bells that won't be the same again. I'm running out of up. Did you bring something to drink? Certainly, you said. Well, well, I drank it, didn't I? Sitting around here at my age. I wish you'd stop working for the Duke. You know what he's like. Torturing people and setting fire to their cottages and everything. But I'm his fool. A fool has to be loyal to his master, right up until he dies. It's tradition. But you don't even like being a fool. I hate it. But if I've got to be a fool, I'll do it properly. That's really stupid. I prefer foolish. No! Ice! It's ice stop! I told you it was dark. You went through all that wet mist and then up into cold air, you daft piece of... What the desk are you doing? I can follow the river. Don't you worry. You come aboard, you hear? It's all over. I can't pull you up. Well, I can't climb up, can I? At your age, get up. Do that again, Githerog. I promise. No, 
We're heading for Lanka Bridge. There's still miles to go. Don't fuss. There's still plenty of night left. Not enough, I'm thinking. Githa, a witch doesn't know the meaning of the word failure. Esme? What? It means lack of success. <sighs> Look! Lanker Bridge! Esme, you'll go down in history for this, you know. You think I will? Mark my words. <laughs> but you've still got to complete the spell, mind. If... If I kiss you... Will I turn into a frog? We shall have to see. <laughs> Did you feel the disc move? I think she's done it. Done what? Oh, uh, nothing. It felt like we kissed through all eternity. Well, through 18 years at least. Shall we have another try? I don't think we got it quite right that time. <laughs> <laughs> It was superb. <laughs> Being in the ethereal plane, of course, I was in a position to observe closely. Anyway, we've got to find the boy now. That's the next step. He'll be in Ankmore Park. Mark my words, everyone ends up there. Ankmore Park? But you'll be away for ages. The Duke's given me special instructions. He trusts me. But you don't have to go. You don't want to go. No, but I still have to do it. I gave me word. Just when we were getting to know each other. You're pathetic. I'd only be pathetic if I broke my word. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be back in a few weeks. I couldn't see you again before I go, could I? I shall be washing my hair. It was a very good play, the play that I saw. Let him come when he is grown. <laughs> I hate this kingdom! Be quiet, husband. I said I'd do it, laddie, and I have. All those years ago, when first you trod the boards. <laughs> oh, but I don't know. Maybe it's against nature, capturing the spirit of the theater and putting it in a cage. And I'm going to find it hard settling down at my time of life. It's not doing you any good. You're not getting any younger. You'll do better to stay put here and let the people come to us. And they will too. You know the crowds we're getting now. Howell's plays are famous. Damn thing hasn't even got a name. I should call it the gold mine. That's what it's costing me. It needs a name that means everything. Because there's everything inside it. The whole world on the stage. Do you see? How about the disc? In a humbug. Night, Howell. <laughs> First, Claire. This is my little study. Hey, with a little study, you could go a long way, and I wish you'd start now. If you can't leave in a cab, then leave in a half. And if that's too soon, then leave in a minute and a half. Second, Claire. That's a night, boss. Third clown, business with the bladder on the stick, honk, honk. Oh. Yes, it's funny, but is it right? <clears throat> all the disc is but an theatre, and all men and women are but players, except those who sell popcorn. All hail! Uh, Varenz? No, that was the old king. And jingle bells. Who? Oh. Your young fella. In with the bells and the eyes like a septic bloodhound. We'll just keep on calling him Tom John. Oh, have it your way, Esme. I will, thank you very much. 
All hail Tom John. Who shall be king hereafter? Hereafter what? Just hereafter, girl. It's what you're supposed to say. You might try and make an effort. He can't hear us, can he? He's tossing and turning a bit. You know, I've never been able to get sound on this thing, as me. Huh. Should have got yourself a proper one. Uh, what about you? You haven't got one at all. Please don't let start. <laughs> What's up, lad? Nightmares? God! It was terrible. It, it, it was like... I, I was sort of inside something. Like a bowl, and, and there were these three faces peering in at me, and... Funny old things, dreams. Not much funny about that one. Oh, what's the time? It's after midnight. And you know what your father said about going to bed late? I'm not. I'm getting up early. Getting up early is very healthy. I'm going out for a drink. You can come too. To keep an eye on me. You also know what your father says about going out drinking. Yes. He said he used to do it all the time when he was a lad. He said he'd think nothing of quaffing ale all night and coming home at 5 a.m. <sighs> all right. Just the one, though. Somewhere decent. I promise. By the way, exactly how does one quaff? I reckon they're roistering in here, don't you? It looks like it. What a swamp! In a swamp, the alligators don't pick your pockets first. Two pints of your finest ale, landlord. Why, aye, what have we got here? A flippin' lawn ornament? Where's your fishing rod? Here you are, one pint. And one half pint. Calm down. I'm not drinking here again. That's bad enough to let monkeys drink in here. Uh, I don't think you meant that, did you? Not about monkeys, eh? You didn't really, did you? A monkey's <gasps> a monkey for lawn ornaments. Roistering, do you suppose? Or merely rollicking? It's going to be full blooded murder in a minute, my lad. He will make friends easily. Brothers! Please! Praise! Silence! Huh? Brothers! Yay, brothers! I may call all men brother and clasp them hardly to my heart. Oh, who against his brother would his hand in anger raise? <laughs> Not I, <laughs> nor you. For anger is the ebon worm whose fell and poison jaws devour us all. <gasps> yes, even to the very soul. <laughs> Cast out this demon anger, and in his stead play host to amity. To friendship and to love. <laughs> Come away now before it wears off. Right, where shall we go next? Next! Troll Tavern. I'd like to see a Troll Tavern. Oh, they're for trolls only, boy. Molten lava to drink and rock music and cheese and chutney flavoured pebbles. Perhaps you're right. But, my good man, if I could just explain... Listen up, little. Vitola. Whatever. I ain't no man. And I sure as shades ain't good. I lent you the money in good faith. And now, I want it back. You'll have to give me time. I'll give you time. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, I... Till tomorrow. To... Tomorrow? But, but I, I... I ain't running no charity. Tomorrow. <laughs> what about a dwarf bar? You'd hate it. Besides, you'd run out of headroom. Low dives, are they? Look at it like this. How long do you think you could sing about gold? 
It's yellow and chinks and you buy things with it. About four seconds, I think. Right, well, gets a bit repetitive after five hours. Did you hear something? Oi! They're mugging a clown! What's going on here? J.H. Flannelford Boggis and Nevews bespoke thieves. Let us quote you our family rate. They're from the Thieves Guild. That's right. Only don't expect us to do you now, cos we're on our way home. But you were kicking him. Uh, uh. Well, not a lot. Not what you'd call actual kicking. More foot nudging sort of thing. How much did you steal? Well, let's have a look. <clears throat> oh, swipe me. There must be a hundred silver dollars in here. Oh, I can't earn all that sort of money. You've got to be in the League of Lawyers to steal that much. Give it back to him, then. Uh, but, but I've done him a receipt. Oh. Look after him. I'll sort this out. My client feels that the situation could be resolved if you give the money back. Yes, but it's the receipt, see? And we have to fill it up, time and place, sign and everything. My client feels that possibly you could rob him of... Uh, let us say, five copper pieces. No, I don't! That represents two copper pieces as the going rate, a plus expenses of three copper pieces for time, call-out fees. Wear and tear on the cosh. Exactly. Very fair. Very fair. And uh, how about something for the weekend? Uh, we got a special on GBH this season, practically painless. Hardly breaks the skin. Plus, you get a choice of limb. Thank you. No. Oh, well. Right you are, then. No problem. Which merely leaves the question of my legal fees. Three silver dollars and 18 copper pieces in profit. That was amazing! I mean, the way they volunteered to go home and get some more money as well. And the youngest one starting to cry. <laughs> amazing! Well, I'm very grateful. I'd really like to show you my gratitude. Tell you what. Let me treat you to a drink. It's the least I can do. After you. No, after you. No. No. Trick of the light. <laughs> I could do with another drink. My shout this time. <laughs> My squeak. <laughs> Ow! It's all right. He don't mean it. I don't know how many dwarves. Yeah. Be shorter than where I come from. <laughs> I think you ought to try and be a bit less funny. Otherwise, You'd be amusing the demons in the dungeon dimension. Yeah, I know you. You got a cosmetic spill down on the street. I, I bought a load of grease paint off you last week. <laughs> Shush, shut up. It's very good stuff. Especially your number 19, Corpse Green. <laughs> My father swears by it. Yeah, you know the theatre. Where's us? Strolling players. <laughs> Standing still players now. <laughs> Sliding down players. I went last week. Oh, is that good? There was this girl and this fellow, but he was married. And there was this other fellow, and they said he died, and she pined away and took poison. But then it turned out that this man was the other man, really. And everyone died at the end. <laughs> it was very tragic. I cried all the way home. Here, you two at the theatre. That's right. Then I've come 500 miles to find you. Where did you say he'd come from? The Ram Tops. <clears throat> Some little kingdom no one's ever heard of. Lanka. <clears throat> Sounds like a chest infection. That's where I was born. When you did a tour of the mountains. Tom John. Lad dear. It's a long, long way. I could take some of the younger lads. 
We could be back by Soul Cake Day in time for a grand opening. I've got to write the damn thing first. There's more where that came from if you do. Another hundred silver pieces, her ladyship said. It sounds interesting. Wicked king ruling with the help of evil witches. Storms, ghastly forests, true heir to the throne in life or death struggle, flash of dagger, <sighs> screams, alarms, evil king dies. <laughs> Good triumphs, bells ring out. <sighs> oh, but my dear boy, are you sure you really want to do it? Well, on the other hand, what harm could it do? The pays that the uh, the play is the thing, and I do have some debts. Chrysophys, <laughs> he's the one that has people's limbs torn off. <sighs> How much do you owe him? An arm and a leg. So, you got the money. How much does he owe you? Let's see now. Um... A hundred silver pieces. A hundred? <laughs> I only borrowed it. And then there's the interest. Shall we say another hundred? After all, you wouldn't want anything to happen to your theater. Not to mention... Ah. I'm not a vindictive troll. I'll give you two months. Should be enough time to get there and back. <laughs> How could you have been so stupid? I did it for you too. You deserve a better stage, a proper home. It's no life out on the road giving two performances to a bunch of farmers who throw potatoes at the stage. I said blow the cost. I just wanted you to have... All right. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to write it. And I'll act it. Thank you both. He's on his way. In a cart. Fiery white charger would have been favourite. Has he got a magic sword? We could make him one out of a thunderbolt iron. I've got a spell for that. You take some thunderbolt iron... Oh. ...and... Uh, and uh, then, um, you, you make a sword out of it. You're a disgrace, the pair of you. Magic chargers, fiery swords. I can't be having with that old stuff. It's a long road. There's many a slip twixt dress and drawers. There could be bandits. We shall watch over him. That's not right. He ought to be able to fight his own battles. We don't want him to go wasting his strength. We want him good and fresh for when he gets here. And then we'll leave him to fight his battles in his own way. Provided he looks like winning. First witch. He's late. Pause. Second witch. He said he would come. Pause. Third witch. This is me last note. I saved it for him and he hasn't come. Pause. I think you ought to slow it down a bit. No one said it had to sparkle. But he could, you know, if I could just get it right. I think we're lost. Well, now, what have we here? <sighs> We've got a receipt somewhere. They don't look like guild thieves. They look like freelancers to me. Could I just say something? You're going to beg for mercy, right? That's right. The point I'd like to make is that the worth of man lies not in feats of arms or the fire... Passing that milk drug, my grap. That was a present from my aunt. Become a man. This jewel of jewels. This crown of crowns. Is that it? Well, yes. It was a good speech, but I don't see what it's got to do with me. Hand over your valuables. <laughs> I'm... I don't think he was very impressed with my performance. A born critic. You can't get jugs like that anymore. I mean, if you said what was on your mind, there was a flat iron on the shelf. Mm. A week ago, she said she wouldn't interfere. A week's a long time in thaumaturgics. 
18 years, for one thing. They're wandering all over the place. Now, they may be good at the theatre, but they've got something to learn about travelling. You've got us lost, haven't you? Certainly not. Well, where are they then? Well, it's the mountains, perfectly clear on any atlas. We ought to stop and ask someone. Oh, who did you have in mind? That old woman in the funny hat. I've been watching her. She keeps ducking down behind a bush when she thinks I'm looking. How there, good mother? Who are you calling mother? Just to figure a figure of speech, Mrs. Uh, Miss... Mistress. And I'm a poor old woman gathering wood. Locks. Ahem. <clears throat> You did give me a fright, young master. My poor old heart. I'm sorry? What? Your poor old heart what? What about my poor old heart? It's just that you mentioned it. Well, it isn't important. Locks, I expect you're looking for Lanker. Well, yes. You've come too far. Go back about two miles and take the track on the right past the stand of pines. Would you care to share our lunch, good mother? Old woman? Hmm. Uh, Mom? What is it? Salt pork. <laughs> Gives me wind. She could have given more explicit instructions. <laughs> what? Like ask at the next crown? <laughs> Look, over there. Who there? Old... A uh, good... Wood gatherer. Would you care to share our lunch, old... Good woman? Miss? It's only salt pork, I'm afraid. Meat is extremely bad for the digestive system. If you could see the inside of your colon, you'd be horrified. Uh, uh I am just a humble... Oh, oh, I, oh, I mean, uh, locks. I am just a humble wood gatherer. No locks. Collecting a few sticks and mayhap directing lost travellers on the road to Lanker. Locks. I thought we'd get to that. You fork left up ahead and turn right at the big stone with a crack in it. You can't miss it. Locks, locks. What are we doing? Waiting. It'll be getting dark soon. We won't be here long. It's salt pork. Take it or leave it. Now, which way's Lanka? Keep on left at the ravine, then you pick up the track that leads to a bridge. You can't miss it. You forgot about the locks. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Locks. And you're an humble old wood gatherer, I expect. Dead right, and I wouldn't say no to a lift. Move over. <laughs> you, uh, you mentioned salt pork. There wouldn't be any mustard wood there. No. Can't abide salt pork without condiments, but pass it over anyway. What's in that leather bottle? Beer. Water. Pretty weak stuff. Anyone got a light? Good boy. Now, anyone got any backy? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. They've got it absolutely spot on. They might almost have been there. <laughs> exactly right. This is exactly, exactly, exactly how it was. Will have been. <gasps> You're in this too. Amazing. It's word for word how it will be remembered. I see it's got death in it. Always popular. People expect him. How soon will they be here? <laughs> What's all this about a play? Oh, my lord wants something to convince the people that he is the rightful king of Lanka. It's disgusting. I suppose you'd prefer the Duchess's approach. She just thinks they ought to kill everyone. When's this play going to be, then? I'm not allowed to tell you. The Duke said to me, he said, don't tell the witches. Well, I shouldn't, then. He said not to say that it's at 8 o'clock, but meet for sherry beforehand at 7.30, if faith. <laughs> the Duke will be expecting you. Can I, can I see you after the show? I think I might be washing my hair again. I brought you this present. If he wants us to be there, I don't want to go. He's got some plan. He's using Edology on us. There's something up. He had his men set fire to three cottages in our village last night. He always does that when he's in a good mood. Come on! All the sherry will be gone.
tortured, Jingle Bells. Oh, there's not going to be any trouble, is there? Please. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I hope you haven't been keeping our girl here up late at nights. <laughs> Nanny. I know where we can get a lovely view from one of the gate towers. And there's a cistern of water and a fireplace that the guards use sometimes. In case you want to wash your hair. Well, Nat. <laughs> no, thank you. They, they go right through me, you know. Hello. <laughs> You're on business. People of Lanka, you are here tonight to pay witness to a remarkable performance, one that I hope will lay many ghosts to rest. The things that you are about to see actually happened. The rest, as they say, is history. Thank you. Pray, gentles all, list to our tale. What's a gentle? Kuiper and Margaret. <coughs> These walnuts are damn tough. I'm going to have to take my shoe off to this one. Actors. As if the world weren't full of enough history without inventing more. Why oh, you want the world the way it is, the way it was. The past used to be a lot better than it is now. What hath befell the land? Tis a terror by the name of King. <laughs> Come on, soldiers of the king at the bull. Oh, and the witches. Where are the blasted witches? I've lost my wart. The cauldron's all full of yuck. There's something living in this week. Calm down. Calm down. It'll be all right on the night. Come on, may I say now? Who there, old crone? We come with orders from the king. Your house and all that it contains are forfeit. No! This cannot be. Hold your tongues or by my faith, I'll... I'll now... Mm. Avenge the terror of my daughter's death. Oh, avenge the terror of my daughter's death. Right. Now, what are you? You're scheming evil secret black and midnight hags. Tell me what you are. We're scheming, scheming evil, evil secret, secret black and... Howell, there's no crown. I've got to wear a crown. Of course there's a crown. The big one with the red glass. We used it in that place with the big square. I think we left it there. Just find another one then, in the props box. You're the evil king. You've got to have a crown. Get up with it, lad. You're on in a few minutes. <sighs> what are you hanging around here for? Get out there and curse them. Sister, we're now. A sailor's wife had chestnuts in her lap and munched that's us. Round that silly cauldron. That's meant to be us, Githa. Killing babes. Did you hear that? One of them said we put babies in the cauldron. Oh, they've done a slander on us. Words. That's all that's left. Words. But the words won't be forgotten. They've got a power to them. Give thee a wind, thou art kind, and I another. I myself have all the others. Green blusher? I don't look like that, do I? Absolutely not. And the hair? Oh, looks like straw. Not very clean either. Not like yours. Oh, you've gone. There's got to be a crown. Oh. Oh, well, you'll have to do. Get on! What? <sighs> Thank you. A drum! A drum! The king doth come! How now, you secret black and midnight hags? What is you do? A deed without a name! Such deeds indeed have I performed upon thy saying. That's him, isn't it? That's my son. I think he's meant to be you. I never walked like that. What's happened to his leg? That's my crown he's wearing. And fiery is my thirst for blood. For hearts from chest to pluck and roost upon a spit. 
I am in blood stepped in so far that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as no more. Come, get up. Murder no crones! Gallop by your heads in your cauldron! On your broomstick, you old hag! Come on! Eat you must admit, my treasure, the experiment seems to be working. It would appear so. Cower now, brief mortals, for I am deaf, against whom no, no, no. Uh, oh, good grief, Dave, against two, no luck will hold no fastened portal bar. Oh, not that way of you idiots. Try a bit more hollowness, like this. I have come to get you, you terrible actor. <gasps> I don't know how you do it. I, I'll never be as good as you. Cower <laughs> now, mortals. I get <gasps> Call the captain of the guard and tell him to find the witches and arrest them. <laughs> Divers, alarums, and excursions? That means lots of terrible happenings. Alarums and what? Excursions. Oh, the seaside would be nice. We can't let this happen. Witches just aren't like that. We live in harmony with the great cycles of nature and do no harm to anyone. And it's wicked of them to say we don't. We ought to fill their bones with hot lead! I don't think that would be appropriate. It could give people the wrong idea. But not for long. Why don't we just change the words? When they come back on stage, we could just put the fluence on them so they forget what they're saying and give them some new words. They'd have to be the proper sort. Otherwise, people would suspect. Shouldn't be too difficult. You just go tumpty, tumpty, tumpty. Anyway, half of them are forgetting their lines as it is. It'll be easy. All right. I suppose it's worth a try. Oh, we're not really witches. Tie their hands, lads. But if you just listen, where would the theatre? Shall we gag them as well, Captain? And clap them in chains. <laughs> the witches! Where are the... Oh, at last. What are you three playing at? We've been looking for you everywhere. Us? But we're not in... Yes, you are. Remember, we put you in last week. Oh. I must say, you look as nasty a bunch of hags as a body might hope to clap their eyes on. <laughs> Run along. Curtain up in ten seconds. Break a leg. Break your own leg. Yeah. Let's do the show right here. What man dare, I dare. It's just a tin one, this. And it's full of yuck. And the fire is just paper. Look, you can poke it. Hmm. I wouldn't be seen dead with a cauldron like this. Two days' work with a scour and a bucket of sand as this. Tyranny. And calls me forth for vengeance. How do they make it flicker? Be quiet, you two. You're upsetting people. Go ahead, young man. Don't mind us. <laughs> Aha! It calls you forth for vengeance, does it? And the heavens cry revenge too, I expect. <gasps> it's them! What are they doing in my play? Aha! Thou callest me an evil king, though thou whisperest it so that none save I might hear it. How says what's going on? What was that? Did I hear you say, I come, my lord? Get these people off, he says. Thou babblest, man. See how I dodge thy tortoise spear. Ghosts of the mind and all device away. I bid the truth to have its tumpty tumpty day. Do you fear him now? And he so mazed with drink. Take this dagger, husband. You are a blades-width from the kingdom. I 
dare not. Who will know? See, there is only eyeless night. Take the dagger now. Take the kingdom tomorrow. Have a stab at it, man. Cower now, brief mortals. I am death. Against who? Against who? Whom? Oh, thank you. Against whom no lock may hold? Will hold. Oh, Howell will have my... my... guts. Forget. Is this a dagger I see before me? Of course it's a dagger. Come on. Do it now. The weak deserve no mercy. We'll say he fell down the stairs. I cannot. <laughs> he has been kindness itself to me. And you can be death itself to him. Cower now, brief mortals, for I am death. Gainst whom no, 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 gainst whom no... Lock will hold. What? Lock will hold, nor fastened portal. Lock will hold, nor fastened portal. Bah. Bah. No, no. I cannot do it. Down there in the hall, someone watches. Dithering idiot. Must I put it in for you? See? His foot is upon the top stair. No! No! It wasn't like that. You cannot say it was like that. You weren't there. <laughs> you traitor. I know it was you. I saw you at the top of the stairs, sucking your thumb! I'd kill you now, but for the thought of having to spend eternity listening to your whining! I, Verence, formerly king of... Arrest them! No! What did you say? I saw it all. I was in the Great Hall that night. You killed the king, my lord! I did not. You were not there. I did not see you there. I order you not to be there! You swore loyalty unto death. Yes, my lord. I'm sorry. You're dead! <gasps> Thank goodness it's all over. I didn't do it. You all saw that I didn't do it. You're all lying. Telling lies is naughty! It was her! She did it! <laughs> you can't get me now! Uh, I've never looked a bosom squarely in the face before. Oh, cruel world. To save the experience until after I was dead. Are you dead? I must be. I think I'm in paradise. I think you're alive. Everyone's alive. Look, it's a trick dagger. <laughs> Actors probably can't be trusted with real ones. That's right. They can't even keep a cauldron clean. Whether everyone is alive or not is a matter for me to decide. Clearly, my husband has lost his wits. And now I decree... Be silent, woman. The true king of Lanker stands before you. Who? Me? Ridiculous! He's the true king. We can prove it. Oh, no. We are not having that. There'll be no mysterious returned heirs in this kingdom. Guards, take them! Oh, she's a witch, isn't she? Certainly. We've seen where they turn people into newts. And then shipwreck them. I'll show you the power of these witches. Uh, oh. So, it comes to this, does it? <laughs> What have you done to her? Edology. No one becomes like she is without building walls inside their head. Well, I've just knocked them down. Everyone wants to know their true self. No, she does. Guards! I told you to take them! What? But I just showed you your true self. I'm supposed to be upset by that, am I? I've seen exactly what I am, and I'm proud of it. 
I do it all again, only hotter and longer. I enjoyed it. There's not one of you who doesn't fear me. She does go on, doesn't she? Take her away and put her in a cell somewhere. No, my lad. You're the new king of Lanker. But I don't know how to be a king. We all seed you. You had it down just right, including the shouting. But that's just acting. What? Acting. I, 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 I say, there's been some laughable mistake. Hello. Look, the wings come I, 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 right I, I, off. Hello. Hello. But I assure you, you are not dead. Take it from me. <laughs> I shall rattle my bones at night and knock on tables and drip ectoplasm on anyone I don't like. <laughs> it won't work. Living people are not allowed to be ghosts. I'm going to float through walls. Ow! I give up. I don't want to be king. Mm. Let him be whoever he thinks he is. Everyone says I'd take after my dad. <laughs> Funny thing all this taking after people. I mean, if I took after my dad, I'd be 100 feet underground digging rocks. Besides... I've got to get back. There's Chris a phase. If we don't get the money to him in time, he'll come looking for us. Hmm? An arm and a leg, remember? It might be a good idea to hold the coronation tomorrow. It's not good for a kingdom to be without a ruler. It doesn't like it. I told you I don't want to be king. You were right. They really are brothers, aren't they? Oh, yes, definitely. I saw to his mother when you're... <laughs> when he was born, and to the Queen when young Tom John was born, and Her Majesty told me who his father was. But Varenz was her husband, wasn't he? So, oh. <laughs> you know what they say, fools rush in when the King's away, <laughs> or something like that. But we'll keep that to ourselves, eh? Well, then, if I'm not a ghost, why are you here? Waiting. Wait forever, bone face. I shall hover in the twilight world. I shall find some chains to shake. I shall... Ah! Now you're talking. <laughs> I'll be back. And I won't burden myself with a husband next time either. Weak. No courage in him to be as bad as he knew he was inside. It was a good banquet, I thought. Yes, I was nearly sick. And my shirl out out in the kitchen and brought me home some scraps. I heard half a pig and three bottles of fizzy wine went missing, they say. We were a bit surprised you weren't there, Magrat. We thought you'd be up at the top of the table kind of thing. <laughs> mm. I wasn't invited. I don't know about invited. We weren't invited. People don't invite witches. They just know we'll turn up if we want to. Mm. Well, he's been very busy sorting everything out. You know. I dare say you'll get around to everything sooner or later. 
It's very demanding being a king. Yes. Here, your hair looks a bit grubby. Have you washed it lately? How's the play going? Uh, what play? You know, that one. The Lanka King. Oh, coming along. I'll get round to finishing it one of these days. Open in the name of the King! All right, you, you don't have to shout like that. Sorry, sire. Try the latch. Ooh, don't like the sound of that, sire. <sighs> Could be dangerous. If you want my advice, sire, I'd set fire to the thatch. Set fire? I don't think that would be appropriate, Sergeant. Well, couldn't I just set fire to the privy? Absolutely not. That chicken house over there looks as if it'll go up like... Sergeant, go back to the castle. What? And leave you all alone, sire? There are times when even a king needs to be alone. It concerns a lady. Ah, point taken, sire. <laughs> If you have any trouble getting there a light, you know where I live. Hello. 